troubleshooting. Hopefully everything will work, but if it doesn't, then we do have some new features that can help you. In the past you had to look at something like this. Now you look at the picture that says you have a near-end crosstalk problem, which is in this connector. Not that one, in this connector. So check the connector. Very easy to understand. And if you have more connectors, you can still see which connector you have a problem with. Here you have a resistance problem. Check your connectors again. This is my favorite, actually. Check for water in the cable. This is not an easy um, problem to catch if you're not really an expert in uh, cable tracing. But here it's very easy to understand. If you had a problem with water in the cable, you'll check it here. We have made cable testers now for like 25 years, and um, I think we have some expertise in the area. We put these into the expert system that analyzes all the traces and give you this information directly. Okay, last thing you do, of course, is uh, you take the data back at the end of the day from all of the testers into the cloud. You log on to the cloud either with your PC or a tablet or a phone. This is actually web-based. So it's not like you need to have a special app or something. You just need something with the browser. You can do this from a PlayStation at home if you like. So just log on to it, look at the results. And if the customer wants to have a report right away, you can log on with your phone and say send report. And the report will be sent as an email attachment directly to the customer, directly from the field. So from actually doing the testing, the sending off report, then you're basically ready with your work and you can send off your invoice. It's very fast. And here's an ex example, actually, if you want to test it yourself, even if you don't have one of our testers, you can still look at it and see how it works. The final thing is, of course, reporting. A typical report will look something like this. With all the data you need, and it will be very clear if you got a pass or fail. I don't see many customers sending uh, reports with fails to the customers. So it it's typically looks like this. And here's a nice example. This is actually has to do with fiber. These two pictures are pictures of the fiber connectors, which is all, which we include in the report just to show that they are clean. So you can prove to the customer that w when you have finished your installation, everything was in perfect condition. Even the connectors were clean when you left. Okay. That's it. Very short presentation. I think I gave you back some minutes. No. <laughs> uh, oh, just like that. Ah, yes. Ah. <laughs> 20 seconds. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Tomislav Saric from Vertiv, please. Saric or Saric? Saric. Saric? Okay. <laughs> I think it's okay. I don't know.